Hey everyone, Faze L here with just a quick little shout out to my friends at TechShift.net and TechShift, the YouTube channel. They make some really good videos, very informative. I want you guys to check them out, see what you guys think. I'll post the link in the description below. But let's... Hey everyone, I'm Faze Ali for All Things Mobile. And today I just want to do a quick video about NFC, explain what NFC is. And by the way, NFC just stands for Near Field Communications. And kind of just telling you guys what NFC is used for today. So today, other than in smartphones and for things like S Beam and that sort of thing, NFC is used uh, for transit systems. So, for example, in Hong Kong, you've got something called the Octopus Card, which is basically just a smart fare card. It lets you use that on buses and that sort of thing, as well as I believe certain convenience stores will allow you to use your Octopus Card. In Canada, and specifically in the GTA, we've got this little guy, which is called the Presto Card, and it's basically our version of the octopus card except uh, ours does not allow you to use it in convenience stores now sort of thing yet uh, so it's strictly for transit now back to smartphones for a minute here I've got two devices I've got the BlackBerry Z10 and the Samsung Galaxy S3 both of these devices do ship with NFC a lot of smartphones do there are some notable exceptions however such as the iPhone they've never shipped with NFC as well as the, the Moto G uh, and well, the Model G is a lower cost entry level device, so that also plays into a factor of it having NFC or not. But I digress. Um, these two devices do have it, and I want to share some functionality which people may not know about these devices. Um, and is that NFC is you know, kind of a standard, it works based on the same principles as a lot of other standards, kind of like Bluetooth and Wi Fi. Um, so it's more universal than people would think and it's not really advertised but let's just open the camera here and we will take a quick picture I'll take a picture of outside just because I'm right beside a window so taking the picture and you guys can see that the picture is here so what's not really advertised about this uh, is that you can actually share this picture over NFC but it doesn't have to be to another Galaxy device or another device with S Beam. I could just hit the share button and then I could um, share via NFC, but you wouldn't see it here. So, uh, trick is that when you're on a photo and you want to share it, you bring it to up to another device which has NFC, so like a Z10, and you're gonna see the whole familiar touch to beam. So, uh, and I will do it again. Touch the beam, and you can see on the Z10 it's receiving. This one's not so. Oh, this one shows in the status bar. Z10 is receiving the uh, photo there, and what basically just happened was it used NFC, and it used NFC as kind of a invocation or a trigger for for Bluetooth and. Bluetooth is obviously a, uh, this is a standard, it's been on phones for many years now, so not really going to talk too much about it, but it initiated a Bluetooth connection between both of the devices for that photo in order to be sent. So the reason why that's significant is because Bluetooth itself, if kept on and you want this kind of functionality, it does take up quite a bit of battery life and it does consume battery a lot. So especially if it's just standby and not really doing anything. So NFC is much lower power, it uses a lot less power. Uh, but also you can keep it on all day and it will initiate the Bluetooth transfer when you need to but the beauty of it is Take a look at Bluetooth on both devices. It's actually off So that's the great part about having NFC to transfer files or photos or that sort of thing is that it will initiate uh, file transfers over Bluetooth but it will start the Bluetooth connection and then turn off Bluetooth immediately after it's done and I think that's great just because battery saving, but also you don't have to walk around with uh, your device being on Bluetooth all day, uh, especially if it's in discovery mode. And it works both ways too. So if I go ahead and I will go snap a picture outside with my Z10, and we will focus, take the photo, and then we've got the NFC share menu, so we can press share. And I believe actually this one will um, show NFC but you don't have to actually tap it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cancel it and then I'm gonna just do the back to back. And then it says waiting for this device and boom, you can see that my Z10 is transferring 
up top here. Uh, it shows incoming beam, and then we will wait for that to finish. So, file received. And then, oops, almost dropped it there. Touch there. We will use the gallery always, yes. And boom, there is a the photo we just took. So, NFC is incredibly useful for that kind of, um, in that kind of regard, and it's not really advertised very often. Now, there's also other third party apps that do take advantage of NFC. So, I've got an app here on this Galaxy S3 called Presto, uh, Presto Lookup, and essentially what it lets you do is it lets you take your phone, your Android device, take a Presto card, put it to the back of it, and it checks your balance. Super handy because those machines, it is a pain to try and find them. So, we do Presto Lookup, we open it shows your current balance, well not current balance, but it shows your card, your name and whatnot. You sign in and then I just tap the card to the back of the uh, device. I just dropped my card there and it will update. It will fetch the balance and that's when it updates. So you can see that zero seconds ago it was updated at 1156 and if I swipe down you guys can see it is 11, oh it's 1157 now. So yeah, I mean there are uses for NFC but I don't think it's super widespread yet there's other things like being able to open doors and that sort of thing but i mean that's kind of more the security side of nfc but anyways i just wanted to make you guys understand that nfc is out there it has uses and the and the main part of the message is really that there's a lot more cross compatibility than we are led to believe just because i mean samsung's never advertised s beam to a non-samsung device right it's simple marketing but I mean it's never been advertised so that's kind of what I wanted to do here so hope you guys learned just a little bit about NFC and the uses we'll probably be seeing more NFC usage use case scenarios as we go on but I'm Faisal Ali for all things mobile I'll see you guys in the next video